Copy and pasting we've seen in action. Copying and pasting formats we haven't seen in action. And to carry out the copy and the paste of just the formatting of a cell, not the contents, we use the format painter. Now the format painter is this little brush icon here on the home ribbon. We're going to use the sales data F file. And you'll see in here we have January that we've given some colors and changed the alignment and formatted the cells, etc. And we have a little column of information over here called sausages that isn't formatted. So if I want the sausages sold title to be exactly the same as these titles here, I could select the cell and go through the same process, change the alignment, change the background color, change the font color. Or I could simply go to one of these and say, why don't I copy the format off there and paste it onto here? So I select the cell with the format that I like. I then click my little format painter brush. I then come across to sausages sold and click and it pastes the format onto that cell. The same with these cells here. So I want all of those cells to have the same formatting as these. So the alignment is in the middle, I've got that blue dotty border, and the total is in bold. So if I highlight all four cells and then use the format painter, it copies the format of all those cells. So each of the individual cells plus the total being in bold. If I paste here, it pastes down the column, just as I've pasted content before. Now I'm pasting the format. And you'll see that they've all got blue borders, but the bottom one is bold because the bottom one on that selection was bold. So that's the format painter. Now, if we look at February, you'll see that that's got some sales figures in. It's the same makeup as January. So if I was looking at this and thinking, I want that to be the same as February, then I would highlight this area because this is the area I like. I go to the format painter, I then go to February. Now, in theory, we could just click top left and it would paste all the formatting, but that actually wouldn't work in this case because we've got that merge cell at the top. So what I need to do is highlight the whole area and you'll see I've got a big white cross as I have for copying, but there's a little paintbrush next to it. And when I let go, it pastes the format. So all the alignment options, all the borders, all the colors. The only thing it doesn't paste in is the height and the width. So you'll see that row two, hasn't increased its height, even though the labels have turned round. But we know we can adjust that by taking our cursor over here. Now you'll find that you can't double click because the way the orientation has gone round, Excel doesn't think that there's too much text there. So we need to drag down manually. But all the rest of the formatting is in. The borders, background color, the foreground color, the bold, the alignment, everything. Now the Format Painter Brush has one little clever tool. If we go back, say to here, and I want that format, but I actually want to paste it in more than one location. Well, we do that by selecting the cell with the format that we like. This time, double click the format painter. And what you'll then find is if I then click on a cell, paste the format, but retains the memory of that formatting so I can continue pasting it on every cell that I then click on. How do I now stop it from pasting to the exact same format onto every subsequent cell? Well, that's fairly straightforward. We just press escape on the keyboard and that cancels the format painter. So when you now click, you're just clicking into a cell, not pasting the format. So that's format painter brush. It's on the home ribbon. You need to click on the cell with the format that you like, then click the brush, then go to the destination cell and it will paste the format straight onto that cell.